Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me here today in our yoga flow. I ask that you find yourself in a comfortable seated pose. I am sitting in cow face. You're welcome to find that seat or maybe a lotus, half lotus. Whatever seat feels good for you. Maybe we can bring our palms together at heart center. Allowing our shoulders to sit up nice and tall. Our spinal cord is nice and long. Our tummy is nice and tight. Gazing downward towards the earth or closing our eyes if that feels comfortable. Maybe we can take a nice deep intentional breath in. Hold your breath. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Maybe we notice how the breath and the down gaze helps us go inward here today. Maybe we notice how the breath relaxes and soothes our mind and body. Maybe. Sitting here for a couple moments of silence, or use, using the silence and the down gaze to help us bring awareness to our present moment. We are simply going inward here today, and maybe we can thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice our session here. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing our palms above our heads. Nice and slow, coming up to our seated salute. Our arms are nice and long, stretching up towards the ceiling. Breathing down to prayers. Arms back up into our salute. Noticing how this feels in a movement. Exhale down, prayer hands. Inhale, salute. Palms above the head. Shoulders and arms are reaching up towards the ceiling. Fill in a stretch. Palm together, exhale down, prayer hands. Gazing downward. In breath. And on our out breath, we'll bring our arms above our heads. Out breath. Arms come to the side like a star. Inhale. Exhale, seated twist. Arms come down beside the bodies. Noticing how we feel here in our twist. Softly gazing over our shoulder. Exhale back to center, arms up in the air, back in star, back in our X. Inhale, seated towards opposite side, gazing over that shoulder, noticing how this feel. Breathing back to center, arms in the air, back in our star. Inhale, palms above the head, seated salute. Exhale down to prayer. Gazing down towards the earth. Taking a moment to bring awareness to our bodies. Softly gazing our eyes slightly up. Opening our eyes if they were closed. Inhale. And on our exhale, we'll bring our palms down towards our bodies. Palms are touching the earth. Exhale. Feeling the energies of the universe. Noticing how our palms feel. Maybe we can rub the earth, rub the yoga mat. Feeling the vibes, feeling the energy. Listening to the sounds of our environment. Listening to the energies 
as the universe, breathing our arms above our heads as our bodies lean to the right. Doing the side bend. Tummy's nice and tight, body leans towards the right. We're going to hold this pose, four breaths. The palms on the earth, right arm comes up in the air, bending the arm towards the left. Body left our side and going down as much as we comfortably can. Holding this pose for natural breaths. Exhaling back to center. Palms are on the earth. Exhale to our table. Ensuring that our hands are beneath our shoulders, our knees are hip distance apart. Dropping our bodies down to our cow. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes up in the air. Breathing back to our cow. Tummy comes downward towards the earth, filling the curvature in our spinal cord. Chin slightly up. Nice natural breath as we flow back to our cat. Exhale into our cow. Breathing back to table. We are in our neutral pose. Ensuring that our tummy is nice and tight. <sighs> nice natural breath. Breathing back to our bird pose. Right leg goes to the back. Nice and tall. Noticing how this feel. At any time, we can lower our leg down towards the earth if that feels comfortable for us. Otherwise, we can keep that leg straight to the back. To complete our bird pose, we'll bring our left leg, I'm sorry, our left arm forward as our right leg is to the back. Tummy's nice and tight. We're going to hang out here for a couple breaths, ensuring that our tummy is nice and tight. Feeling our body's balance here. Four breaths. Exhale back to table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to table. Bird pose opposite side. Legs to the back nice and high. Right arm goes forward. Tummy's tight. Feeling our body's balance here. We're going to hold this for four breaths. Exhale back to table. Drop into our knees. Bringing our buttocks towards our heels. Coming down to our first child's pose. Maybe slightly gazing forward. Walking our fingers and our hands to the front of the mat. Feeling a stretch here. Noticing how this feels as we do a couple of spinal waves, waving our bodies here. <sighs> Noticing how this feels in our bodies, decompressing our spinal cords. Two more breaths. Finding ourselves at pause at our table. Hands underneath our shoulders. Letting that right arm through our left body comes downward towards the earth. We can hang out here for a couple breaths. Or we can go deeper by lifting our right arm up in the air and wrapping our right arm around our backs. Whatever feels good for you. Slowly unwrapping that arm, I'm threading that needle back to our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to table, thread the needle opposite side, left arm to the side. So when that left arm flow through the right, body comes down towards the earth. We can go deeper by lifting our left arm, our right arm up in the air, and wrapping it around our backs. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Unwrapping that arm, 
unthreading that needle, coming back to our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to table, coming to our hero's pose, buttocks comes towards the heel. Noticing how we feel, breathe up, salute. Exhale down to prayer. Inhale, salute. Exhale to prayer. Maybe do a couple of salute prayer rotations at our natural breaths. Simply feeling the movement here, loosening our arms, noticing how this feels in our backs and our shoulders. Breathe up, salute. Exhale, prayer. Lowering up to our knees, we are in our kneel position. Maybe we can lift our shoulders up towards our ears and roll our shoulders towards the back. Noticing how this feels in our bodies, loosening up our upper backs even more. Maybe if this feels good, we can work on a camel. Finding pause in our shoulder rolls. In our camel pose, feeling comfortable, feeling balanced, placing our hands on our lower backs if we choose, or we can touch our hand to the heels of our feet if that feels good for us, or we can interlock our hands behind our backs. However you choose to get into your camel, may we inhale and exhale back into our camel. We're going to hang out here for seven breaths. Exhale back up to our kneel position. Maybe we can do a couple of shoulder rolls this time to the front, lifting our shoulders up towards our ears, rotating them to the front. Shoulder rolls at our natural breath, noticing how this feels. Ensuring that we can inhale back into our shoulder roll, simply loosening up our shoulders and back even more. Find still. Inhale, kneel, salute, palms above the head. Exhale, pray. Exhale, prayer hands. Resting our hands at heart center. Noticing how we feel within our bodies. Nice, deep, natural breath. Breathing out through the mouth. As we flow our bodies down to child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels good for you. Rocking the body from side to side. Toes relax between our thighs. Noticing how we feel, checking in. Finding pause, walking our fingers to the front of the mat, feeling a stretch here. Finding pause, exhale, table. Or maybe we can do a couple spinal rolls before we get to that table. <sighs> Pushing our bodies up to our damn dog. Tummies nice and tight. Gazing back at our feet. Gazing forward at our hands. Maybe we can bring our feet apart here and do a wide legged down dog. If we're not already there, using our hands to push our bodies up. We don't want to be soaking down into our mat. We want to come up. Nice strong arms building our shoulder strength here. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Tummies tight. Gazing forward at our hands, pushing our bodies up to our high plank. Continuing to build strength. Two more breaths. Exhale, side plank. Bring the one arm up in the air. Tummies nice and tight. Hanging out here, three breaths. Exhale, down dog. Feeling the stretch. Breathing up, high plank. Exhale, side plank, opposite side. Hanging out here, three breaths. Exhale, 
exhale down dog breathe forward up dog so we're gonna curve in our spinal cord here nice back bend exhale down the cobra ensuring that our shoulders are away from our ears we don't want to be sunken down always straight feeling strong hanging out here for three more breaths exhale up dog building strength here breathe down dog exhale up dog coming down to cobra <sighs> not sinking down it's so easy to come down to cobra and sunk we want to be strong nice and straight exhale child's pose Gazing forward, walking our hands forward, feeling the stretch. Doing a couple of spinal waves as we find ourselves back in our tabletop, pushing our bodies up, down dog. Three-legged dog, right side, right legs in the air, nice and high, feeling the stretch. Right foot, right hand, runner's lunge, hanging out here, rocking our bodies forward and backwards, noticing how this feels. Extending that front leg, we are in our pyramid, feeling the stretch. Leaning over that front leg, we are in our extended stretch. Noticing how to feel. Hanging out here for four breaths. Coming up to our fingertips here in our pyramid, gazing forward, back is straight. Exhale, runner's lunge. Breathe back, down dog. <clears throat> Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg's nice and high. Left foot, left hand. Runner's lunge. Rocking forward, rocking backwards. Rocking forward, rocking backwards. Hanging out here, holding it. Breathe, pyramid. Hanging over that leg. <sighs> Allowing our bodies to fall over that leg. Extended stretch. Coming up to our fingertips, slightly gazing forward. <sighs> Exhale, runner's lunge. Breathe back, down dog. Exhale, up dog, building strength here. Slow into our high plank. Hanging out here in our plank, three breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. Working our core here. Working our arms. Working our shoulders. Maybe we can walk our arms slightly inward towards our ribs. Just a little. Hugging our ribs slightly. As we flow down to our chaturanga. Building strength. Hanging out here. Exhale, cobra. Shoulders are away from the ears. Building strength in our arms. Exhale, child's pose. Wide legged child's pose. Allowing our torso to rest between our thighs. Hanging out here, six breaths. Slightly gazing forward, walking our hands to the front of the mat, feeling the stretch. Spinal wave. Exhale into table, pushing our bodies up, down dog. Gazing back at our feet, ensuring that our hands are nice and flat down on the earth, nice and strong. Shoulders, arms, feeling good. Nice and tight. Tummy's nice and tight. Hanging out here, two breaths. Inhale, exhale, forward fold, hanging out here, 
allowing our torso to fall over our legs. Maybe we can go into a rag doll. Exhale, complete forward fold. Coming up to our fingertips. Breathe, half forward fold, hands are beneath our knees. Exhale, back down, complete forward fold. Half forward fold. As we breathe up to our Tadasana, palms are at our side. Maybe we can pedal our feet here in our Tadasana, noticing how this feels in our legs. Simply just awakening our legs, we was down low to the earth, seeing how this feels. Palms to the side, we are in our Tadasana, we are in our mountain pose. We are now still. Inhale. Exhale. Noticing how we feel in our bodies. As we breathe our palms above our head, standing salute. Exhale, standing prayer. Breathe up, standing salute. Exhale, standing prayer. Flowing down to our chair. Feeling our gluteus maximus working here. Holding his pose, three breaths. Building strength. Exhale, side twist. Breathe back to chair. Exhale, side twist, opposite side. Breathe back to chair. Complete forward fold. Hanging out here, two more breaths. Coming up to our fingertips. Half forward fold. Exhale to Dasana, mountain pose. Breathing our palms above our head, salute. <sighs> Exhale. Bending our bodies towards the side. We are in our crescent moon. Tummy's nice and tight. Breathing back to center. Crescent moon opposite side. Exhale back to center. Bringing our palms together. Maybe we can interlace our fingers all except our pointer finger. Pushing our chest forward, allowing our shoulders and arms to go back. Feeling a back bend here. Exhale back to standing salute. Palm together. Breathe down the prayer. As we flow to our chair, tummy's tight, feeling our bodies balanced here. Working our quads, working our gluteus maximus. Maybe bringing our arms forward. Allowing our bodies to completely relax on our feet. Bringing our palms back in, chair pose, prayer hands. Exhale, complete forward fold. Breathing up to our down dog. Flow into our three-legged dog, right side. Right foot, right hand, runner's lunge. Flow into our pyramid. Extended stretch. <sighs> Back to our runner's lunge. Walking our feet to the edge of the yoga mat, bringing our arm inside of our leg, throwing our bodies down to our lizard, working on opening up our hips here. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. Two more breaths. Pushing our bodies up, back into our pyramid. Doing the stretch, going into our extended stretch. Coming up to our fingertips, flowing back down to our runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog.
So we're gonna stretch out down dog. We're gonna keep on flowing. Left legs in the air, nice and high. Left foot, left hand, runner's lunge. <sighs> Flowing into our pyramid. To our extended stretch. Bring back to our runner's lunge. Walking our leg to the edge of the yoga mat. Bringing our arm inside of our leg. Flowing our bodies down to our lizard. Working it on our hip opener, opposite side. Hanging out here for a couple breaths. Exhale up to our pyramid. Breathe down, run his lunge. Exhale, down dog. Feeling our stretch here on our down dog, pushing our chest downwards towards the earth. Noticing how this feels. Feeling that push. Holding this pose for a couple breaths. Gazing up to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Coming to our knees, flowing our bodies to our child's pose. Hanging out here, four or five breaths. Gazing forward, walking our hands to the front of the mat. Couple spinal waves here. Finding pause at table, pushing our bodies back up, down dog. Three legged dog, right side. Right foot, right hand. Hanging out here in our runner's lunge. Bringing our right arm inside of our right leg. <laughs> Pressure, we have pressure on both of our hands, noticing how we feel. We're gonna continue to put more pressure on our left hand as we twist our bodies towards the right. Our right arm comes up in the air as we gaze up at that arm. Feeling the twist, hanging out here, four breaths. Exhale down, both hands are on the floor. We're going to twist the body to the opposite side. Left arm is going to come up in the air. Hanging out here for four breaths. Exhale back down. Back in our runner's lunge. Coming to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Feeling a stretch here in our hamstring. Hanging out here for four breaths. Exhale, runner's lunge, breathe back, down dog. Three-legged dog, opposite side, left legs in the air. Left foot, left hand, runner's lunge. Bringing our left arm inside of our leg. We're gonna do a twist here, allowing our bodies to twist to the right. As our right arm comes up in the air, and we're going to gaze up at that right arm, hanging out here for breaths. Exhale, arm down. We're going to stay in this position and twist our bodies down towards the left, allowing our left arm to come up in the air, gazing up at that left arm. Exhaling back down, pyramid. Bending over that front leg, feeling the stretch, four breaths.
Exhale, forward, front is lunge. Breathe back, down dog. Ensure our hands, our palms are flat on the earth, nice and tall, nice and tight. Hanging out here, two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. Maybe we'll do a, a yogi walk, walking our feet slightly apart, maybe hip distance apart. As we bend our knees, coming down to our yogi squat. Hanging out here, a couple breaths. Maybe bringing our palms at heart center, prayer your hands. Gazing slightly forward, tummy is nice and tight. Maybe we can once again thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to take the time to practice here today. Placing our palms on the earth in front of us, pushing our bodies up to a complete forward fold, building the stretch here in our hamstrings. Nice, natural breaths. Noticing how we feel, catching our breath. Ensuring that we are A-OK. -okay. If we are, maybe we can go into a crow or a crane pose. Whatever feels good for you. Exhaling out, tummy's nice and tight. We are back in our yogi squat. Palms, palms back at heart center. Gazing downward towards the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Placing our palms on the earth, pushing our bodies up into our complete forward fold. Exhale, complete forward fold. Coming up to our fingertips. Breathe into our half forward fold. Pass or beneath our knees. Back is straight. Gazing forward. Exhale to Dasana. <sighs> Breathing our bodies up. We want to work on a dancer's pose. Allowing our left foot to come towards the back. Right arm comes forward. We're going to feel our bodies balancing here. We're going to hold this pose six natural breaths. Exhaling out. Coming back to our Tadasana. Exhale, salute. Breathing to our prayer. Exhale, cheer. Palms in front of us. Pray your hands. Complete forward fold. Half forward fold. Back to Tadasana. Go into our dancer's pose opposite side. Right leg comes towards the back as our left hand comes forward. We're going to hang out here for six natural breaths. Coming on out. Coming into our Tadasana. Breathing back up to our salute. Exhale to our prayer. Coming down to our chair. Holding this pose. Arms come in front of us. Palms at heart center. 
exhale, complete forward fold. Breathe into our down dog. Exhale to high plank, holding our high plank. Walking our hands slow, slightly close to our ribs, hugging our ribs, coming down Chaturanga. Hanging out here. Exhale, Cobra. Breathe up, dog. Exhale, child's pose. Gazing forward, walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling a stretch. Spinal waves. As we find our bodies in our tabletop, dropping down to our cow. Exhale into cat. Breathing back to table. Crossing our feet behind us. If we choose, we're going to find ourselves in a seated position. Any seated pose that feels good for you, may you find your seat. Bringing our chest forward, chin up. We're going to do a seated pose, cat cow. Chest comes forward, chin goes up. Breathing back to cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes towards the back. We're going to do a couple of cat-cow rotations here, noticing how this feels in our body. Two more breaths. Finally, pause at center. Seated, twist right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder. We're going to hang out here for breaths. Exhale back to center. Seated twist opposite side. Exhale back to center. Palms above the head. Seated salute. Palms together, exhale, prayer hands. Slowing our bodies going to our backs. We're gonna bring our knees towards our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. Exhale, our knees is gonna fall to the left. We're gonna go into a recline, spinal twist. Right arm comes out towards the side as we gaze over that right arm. Shoulders, we're going to relax them backwards and downward into the mat, filling our bodies completely relaxed here. We're going to hang out here for five natural breaths. <laughs> Breathing back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. Recline spinal twist opposite wide, opposite side. Legs fall towards the right. Left arm comes out to the side like a T as we gaze over that left arm. Exhale back to center, knees to chest, hugging our knees in. Bringing our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Mm. Tummy's nice and tight. Maybe we can point our feet upwards towards the sky, noticing how that feels. Exhaling our knees into our bodies, coming into our happy baby. Bringing our arms upward towards our feet. Our hands are connecting with our feet. Maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side, using the urge to relax and soothe and massage our spinal cord. Or maybe we can find pause in our happy baby. 
maybe we can do a couple of pauses here with our feet and our happy baby. Or maybe we can go deeper and go into an ear press. Whatever feels good for you, basically we're going to hang out in our happy baby for six natural breaths. Three more breaths. <laughs> Finding pause. <sighs> Bringing our legs back and we're towards our heart at heart center. Bringing our legs up in the air, back to legs on the wall pose. Inhale, exhale to a reclined wide-legged split, allowing our legs to fall towards the side. Noticing how this feels in our hips, our inner thighs. Maybe we can use our hands to push our legs softly apart. The goal is to get our legs to go further and further apart. Completely relaxing our bodies here. Bringing our hands to the outside of our legs. Using our hands to bring our legs back together. Back to legs on the wall. Reaching down to the lower parts of our legs. Behind our legs. We're going to do a body stretch here. Allowing our legs to come towards our torso. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. Exhaling back to legs on the wall. Allowing our left leg to come down towards the earth. Our right leg is still in the air. Reaching up, touching our toes or our feet or our lower legs. And bringing that right leg towards our bodies here. Feeling a hamstring stretch. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. Exhale, knees to chest, hugging them in, allowing our right leg to come down to the earth nice and long, bringing our left leg up in the air, holding our left foot with our left hand or our lower leg, whatever feels good for us, feeling a stretch here and our hamstring behind our legs. We're going to hang out here for four natural breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale, we're bringing our knees back into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. Placing our feet flat on the floor, knees are up in the air. We're going to prepare our bodies for bridge pose here. Using our feet to push our hips and buttocks off the earth, off the earth. Filling our gluteus maximus working here. We're going to do a couple of butt lift pulses. Just simply seeing how this feels. Working on our buns of steel here. Or we can simply stay up in the air and just feel the burn here. We're going to hold this for six breaths. And if you choose, you can always do the pulses. Listening to your body and doing what feels best for you. Two more. Finding pause. Maybe we can go a little bit more higher. Maybe we can go a little bit more higher in our bridge by allowing our hands to come underneath our backs, our buttocks. Walking our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. You'll notice that our chest comes higher up in the air. Our hips, but that also comes higher in the air. We're going to hang out here for six natural breaths. Exhaling back down. 
bringing our knees back into our chest. <sighs> we pass spinal twist left side. Right arm comes out to the side. Still in our spinal cord, relax here. <sighs> Exhale back to center, knees to chest. Recline, twist, opposite side. <sighs> Left arm comes out to the side, gazing over that left shoulder. Coming back to center, knees to chest. <sighs> Crossing our feet at our angle, at our ankles, pushing our bodies up, crunching our body up into our boat pose. Legs are straight, arms are parallel with our lower legs. Tummies nice and tight, feeling our bodies balanced here. We're gonna hang out here, six breaths. Keeping our legs in the air, we're gonna reach down and connect our heels to our feet. We're now going to work on a boat pose variation or a bear pose. We're going to allow our left foot to come out towards the side like a V. If this feels comfortable, we're going to allow our opposite leg to come out to the side like a V. Feeling a stretch here in our hamstrings, noticing how our body's balanced, keeping our tummy tight. If we choose, we can allow our legs to come further away, laterally to the side. We're going to hang out here for six natural breaths, building balance, keeping our tummies nice and tight. And exhaling our feet together, palms of our feet together, bringing our bodies down to our butterfly. Chest comes forward. We're going to do a couple of butterfly cat cow rotations. Chest comes forward, chin comes up. Exhale back to our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle. Spinal cord comes towards the back. We're going to do a couple of um, butterfly cat cow rotations. Mm -hmm. Finding calls that butterfly. Allowing our bodies to lean over, feeling. The stretch here in our hamstrings and our inner thighs, shall I say. Hanging out here, four breaths. Pushing our bodies back up to our butterfly. Allowing our feet to come slightly away from our bodies. We're going to go into a diamond here. We're going to in our diamond pose. Allowing our bodies to fall forward. Seated forward, forward. Noticing how our bodies can come closer towards the earth and its poles. Pushing our bodies back up to our diamond. Using our hands to bring our legs, knees together. Coming back down to our backs. We are back to our knees to chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing our right leg to come down straight in front of us. Left leg comes down straight in front of us. Well, maybe we can reach up and grab a blankie if we choose, because we're going to go into a savasana here. Taking our blankie and wrapping our bodies up if we need it. Our legs are side by side. Maybe our heels of our feet are touching connecting. If so, maybe we can allow our feet to fall towards the side laterally, simply relaxing our legs completely. Our shoulder blades, our backs are relaxed and melting back into the mat. Our eyes are closed or gaze down. As we take a, as we take a few moments to relax, unwind, and go inward. Nice natural breaths. 
as we rest in our Savasana. Maybe we can go on our side, finding ourselves in a fetal pose. We'll hang out here for a couple moments. Continuing to keep our eyes closed or gaze downward. Maybe we can softly wiggle our toes, rotate our ankles, moving our hips and our torso, allowing the movements to awaken our bodies. Softly opening, softly opening our eyes if they were closed. Or if we choose to stay in our savasana or our fetal pose, maybe we can do so. We don't have to find ourselves in a seated pose. We can stay here in our savasana and continue to rest our minds, bodies, and soul. Whatever feels good for you. If we choose to find our seated position, may we inhale. Exhale, pushing our bodies up to our seated pose. Any seated position that feels good for you, may you find your seat. Bringing our palms together at heart center, gazing downward towards the earth. Inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, exhale. I would like to thank you for allowing me to guide you here today. It truly was a pleasure. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste. I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to guide you here today. I hope I get a chance to see you on the mat again in another session, either live or on video on demand, whatever feels good for you. I am just happy to have you. Peace and blessings be to you, and I will see you soon. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining.